Hello there. Welcome back to the pod. The Blazers are on a win streak, getting two massive wins over last year's number two seed. That's all you need to know. That's the only headline you need to take away from that. But in those two wins, Jabari Walker playing a a big role. Double doubles in both wins, 18 and a half points and 11 rebounds from the two games. Looked like a real piece, maybe for the future. What do you guys think? Is Jabari going to be a real impact player for this team as they develop from a tanking squad to hopefully a competitor in the near future? Colton? You know what? I was going to let it go to Riley. Riley? I, will, I will jump in. No, I will jump in. So I think every team – needs something some a player like jabari kirby do you know what kind of a player i'm thinking of it's a hustle guy a hustle guy every team needs a hustle guy they bring the team together they get them fired up when you're out there missing shots and a guy tips in the rebound and scores on a broken play you know three times in a row that's something jabari walker can do i'm not gonna say go out there on a limb and say Jabari Walker is the starting four of the future or the starting wing of the future. But the guy was, is kind of like one of those found money scenarios, right? He's the 57th pick in the draft last year. I thought he looked way too slow to really kind of play that major impact. And I still don't think he's the quickest out there on his feet, but one thing he excels in is rebounding. It's, it's evident when he's out on the floor, he's going to hustle down the rebounds, Uh, I think that if Jabari could improve his shot, which I don't think his form looks bad at all. I think if he spends all summer locked in the gym. talking about three-point shot? Three-point shot, yeah, specifically. If he can even just hit that corner three, kind of play like P.J. Tucker even on offense if need be, and he's got more game driving to the hole than P.J. Tucker. But if he can get that three-point, that corner three-point shot in, he's definitely a piece in my mind. I think he took a big jump from last season to this season and his talent from what I've seen out there on the floor, I just need a three point shot to get up to respectable levels. I think he's a definite bench piece. He could be, you know, an eighth man, even a seventh man. If he keeps improving on a good team, in my opinion. Yeah. What I, what stands out to me with Jabari is the places that he has improved this year. Um, And the main places that I see improvement are one, just in his mentality. It seems like he's a little bit more comfortable. He's not trying to prove quite as much. He's not taking quite as many tough shots. He's really just letting the game come to him a little bit more. Um, And where that really shows is in his field goal percentage. He's taking easier shots. He's not taking a ton of shots. You know, he takes like six or seven shots a game in, you know, like 20 some minutes. Um, But he, puts them in almost half the time they're like 47 percent so you know that's that's good and that kind of speaks to that that whole hustle guy piece that we need what I don't really see him developing is I just don't see him becoming a true three and d guy um I just don't think that that's probably going to be his role on the team I don't think his three-point shot's probably going to get to a point where he's putting it in with so much regularity that he can be like the sixth man like you said, maybe seven or eight, though. And I do see him as a piece as long as we can keep him for a decent price. Um, I think that he should have shown a lot of potential. He's shown that he doesn't need a volume of shots. He can make a small number of shots work. You know, he can make the most of them um, and a small number of minutes, too. And definitely he can be plugged in as an energy guy, as a rebound guy. So I, I do really like that part of his game. I just don't think that his three-point shots probably going to get to where we'd all like it to get. I don't don't really see that spark. Where where would you where would you want it to get to? Where where would you want it to be and where do you think it's going to end up? So I mean right now he's shooting like 27% from 3 and he's taking a couple of game. Um and if we if he was going to be like a sixth man kind of guy, you know, I'd I'd want to see that up above 30% on four like four or five a game, you know. Um if he was going to be like a 3 and D kind of guy. And I don't really see it getting there. I think he's probably going to be an upper 20s percent three-point shooter for his whole career. And if you're taking more than two or three a game at that at that point, you're probably taking too many. So, 
to me, he it seems like Jabari Walker has massive Kenneth Freed energy. The manimal. But unfortunately for Freed, he kind of got phased out of the league a little bit because he couldn't develop that three-point shot. He was really only the, the hustle guy. And really, once the floor spacing became so premium in the NBA, kind of lost the space in the league. And I fear that might happen to Jabari, too, if he can't figure out that three-point shot. If he can get it up into, you know, anywhere near like upper 30s into 40, you know, around that 40 percent range, then he'll be he'll contribute like on a championship team, I think, because that hustle and defense combined with any sort of effective shooting, that would be awesome. But I don't really foresee it coming on the Blazers. I think that he'll probably end up getting traded away here, uh, you know, within the next few years. Um, I hope that it, that it pans out and it would be awesome if he did find that role and find that shooting touch, but I don't really see it happening. I think he'll probably go elsewhere. And uh, I think within the next couple of years, most likely. I think combined with the low price, you're most likely going to lock him in for, you know, when his next contract comes up here. Uh, and I think that if he can get his three point shot up to 35%, Okay, league average is a little bit higher than that. If he can get it slightly below average and still rebound and play good defense, bring the hustle, get some steals, I think he can definitely still have a role. I don't think he needs to be up at 38% to be out there on the floor when you're coming. That would be awesome, there. though, if he was, if he was up there. Oh, yeah. Man, he would be like championship, you know, sixth man type caliber player. For sure. Put, put Duop Reese's three-point shot on Jabari. And you would have a big matchup problem here, matchup nightmare. I Can still... we do that? Can we go on to 2K and up his three-point uh, rating a little bit, slider. please? Tweak it. I think, I think it's too early to say he can't shoot. I think give him another offseason. Let's see if he's in the gym working on it, what it looks like. I think he improved so much from his rookie year because I wasn't sure if he was going to stick in the NBA. This year, it's evident. You know, he put in a lot of work. You could tell uh, in summer league, he looked really good out there, too. I know summer league's kind of gym ball, but honestly, I think that if if he spends an off season just honing in that shot, that's what he's got to work on. Keep improving that lateral quickness because I think that's another thing that would really help him out if he whatever he can do with that. Uh, those are the two things that I'd want to see him focus on. But I think he could definitely be a piece. I think he can improve his shot. To be honest with you, like this offseason is going to be big for him too, but I think this last month or so of the season might be his real chance. Like NBA minutes, he's going to get a lot of minutes down the stretch. He needs to start taking more threes, I think. He's not really taking a lot of them. He might need to up his volume a little bit and uh, try to gain some confidence in game here in this last month while he's got a chance because, you know, he – can only do so much during the off season. And then next year, most likely, hopefully, I don't know, maybe it'll be another tank season, but the most likely he probably won't be getting the kind of uh, opportunity that he's going to be getting this uh, next 30 days or so. A nice thing for Jabari and for the coaching staff is that it's very clear what he needs to be working on, right? He needs like looking at his statistics, he's rebounding. Well, he shoots, from close at a high clip. His defense is pretty solid. He has, you know, he's obviously been working on his body. His quickness is getting better. I totally agree, Colton. Some lateral quickness, defensive quickness would would help him out. But his the hustle's there, the motor's there. He just needs to work on his shooting and and you know try to work on just becoming more and more of an NBA caliber guy. Um but yeah, I think the pieces are there. So I hope that he can be a piece on the team. If he's not, I still agree. We probably need to sign him uh, when is the time comes because it'll probably be a good deal and someone's going to want him. Let us know in the comments down below whether or not you think Jabari Walker is going to be a piece for the Blazers moving forward. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.